In this video, I'm going to share a project with you uh, that goes by the name of DotBit, uh, which is um, a platform, a service uh, that offers to create uh, Web3 cross-chain identities of us. Uh, just like we have you know, Google and Facebook and we have our accounts in different places uh, and we have our data and our information over there. Uh, but the difference is that we know uh, in you know traditional and web 2.0 platforms the information that we put there uh, it is ours but you know from the time that we have placed it over there it's not in our control so those platforms they can basically delete any information that they want to they can change any information that they want to basically that is our information but we're not in control of them so that is something that web 3.0 changed so web 3.0 said that if, if it is your information then you're the one that should be in control and if you're the one who's viewing the ad then you're the one that should get paid so this is something that web 3.0 changed and in that bit uh, what's going to happen is we have a lot of addresses of different chains uh, one for bind smart chain one for ethereum one for polygon for, one for matic we have different nfts uh, and we have different social media accounts so we have a lot of profiles a lot of data that needs to be managed and whenever we have to log in somewhere um, it's a whole struggle that we have to find the relevant one and then put it right there and so forth but wouldn't it be easier if all of this can happen just through one place you just put in one small address and you can do all of this and this is what dot bed is going to do which uh, it kind of sounds like a, a domain name that is you know goes in the end of, of, of an address but it's actually not um the address that we're going to create in this one it is going to be with the dot bit for example if i want to create it i'm going to create trip to popular dot dot bed and in that uh, i'm going to put in my all addresses for bitcoin ethereum for binance smart chain for ethereum and you know every address that I have um, and furthermore I can put in my uh, NFTs and there's like a lot of stuff that we can put in there I think it also includes game that and so forth. we're going to discuss uh, other things that I include so whenever I go anywhere uh, where I want to connect anything I just put in my address you know crypto upload bit and then I can choose which one that I put in which address that I want to use which account that I want to use and it'll just directly f go from there which is going to uh, it's going to make my life a lot easier and uh, if you have a lot of addresses if you have a lot of accounts that you want to kind of like link in into one place and you want to do the you know data management for them i think this is going to be a perfect place for it so this is the official website as you can see um but before we get into this do not then think as it's not going to be an investment or a financial advice always do your own investigation research uh, although as for the time being um it is being offered for a really decent amount uh, and i'm going to show you guys how you can create it and what you can do with it so afterwards uh, i do think this is going to increase so uh, the more quick that you are i think is going to be more better and uh, this is the again this is the official website it says cross chain web 3 identities for you and your community um if you talk about the stats uh, current stats for this platform how many people are using this uh, they have about 262 000 on dot accounts that have been registered there is about 95,000 users, uh, 125 eco members, uh, 16,000 tokens, NFTs, and 178 countries and regions that are covered. And this is them explaining the difference in the Web 2 and Web 3 in this area. So in Web 2, we you have a Twitter account, you have a Facebook account, you have a TikTok account, you have a Google account, and uh, all of your information is in control of them. Uh, all the you know your email address, your phone number, your postal code all those are over there but you're not in control of those um which is something not okay in a sense but in web3 you're in control of all of those things and uh what happens in this one is you create this data container uh, you grab all the other information that you have like you have all of those different information different addresses different you know nfts in different places and you can put them in one single place you can contain the data and uh is going to make it a lot easier because you're just using one address and whichever thing that you want to use at any point you can just use the address for the thing you can basically access from there and this is just different names 
Now, just for example, uh, if we take a look at this one, this is the best case dot page. So basically, kind of like they have created their own official address, and it's going to give us a, a good idea on what we're kind of like talking about. So this is kind of like those link tree, where you have all your links linked in one tree, so they can be accessed from one single address. Uh, but it's not going to be exactly like that. Uh, it's going to have a lot more stuff in this. So this is the best case dot bit, and uh, this is all the things that it has currently contained. So in the profiles, they have Twitter, GitHub, Discord, website avatar, description. So they have also included web two platforms, and you can link those uh, in here as well. And these are the addresses: so Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge, BNP, Matic, uh, Drawn, dot L, uh, LTC. And these are custom, and uh, these are permissions and these are deeper like there's a lot of other things uh, included in this uh, apart from profiles apart from addresses there's a lot of other things that you can have in this one uh, you can have in your own address and creating it is pretty straightforward uh, there will be a button right here that will take you to this place where you can create your own I think you have to go to the bottom right here and uh, you're gonna click on get a dot bit and it'll take you to this place here you're gonna search up which kind of like name that you want uh, in my case I'm gonna put in crypto Pablo and I'm gonna search this up and if crypto Pablo dot bit is available then I'll be able to get it and it says register as an ethereum nft and register as a normal dot bit I'm gonna go with normal dot bit and here you can see uh, if I register for one year it is actually available so for one year uh, it's gonna cost me 5.56 which is super decent um, it's not really a lot it's five dollars just it's very minimal and uh, you have there's a storage deposit which is of 0.56 but if you go for let's say five year you just only have to pay this once uh, but if you keep on renewing it every single year then you're gonna have to pay this one as well but it's really just 56 cents so it's not really a lot um, and uh, if there's an in you know uh, an inviter it says save five percent on fees so you can put in the address of the inviter right here and it's going to save you some fees and you can click on register it's really up to you you can simply go for one year testing out and, and if it works for you you can go for more and more it's not really expensive so it's, uh, it's not going to matter and um, it now it's asks you it will ask you to connect your wallet so you can go with any of these and then you can start putting in all the data that you have and you can move forward so the whole process of getting this is pretty straightforward it's pretty economical uh, so i don't think you're going to have any trouble over there and this is what the you know the dot bit is going to be for this is your digital identity uh on the web 3 and also on the kind of like on the web 2 as well so dot bit is digital identity it's nft because it holds nft status in DAO identity in web3 reputation in gamify globally unique alias label um, the core in web3 social graph uh, self-sovereign data container a way to enhance web3 security web3 identity for your community these are nice personal home page and so forth so you can see it's it's like a lot more it has so many things to offer uh, it is decentralized it is cross chain which and it's not like it's just on one chain it's on different chains so whichever you know uh, chain that you're more familiar with more comfortable with you'll have this over there so it's not going to be any problem if you come to the register if you click on register you can see you know, uh, as for right now you can see ethereum uh, then you have binance smart chain polygon and tron so uh, i don't think you're going to have any issue in that uh, part uh, it is open source globally unique easy to use safe rich ecosystem free to manage and low cost of ownership which we just checked uh, which can and will increase so make sure that you if you have major mind make sure they do not waste it and um, uh, here it talks about the team we already have taken a look at the statistics it says the world's top wallet enhancer user experience with dot bit so uh, basically in the address instead of putting you know copying the address because you know we can't really remember the addresses i don't think anyone at this point have remembered the address because it's alphanumeric it has different digits different numbers so it's really difficult to you know uh, remember this thing right here so it's much easier that you just put in ls dot bit whichever name that you have uh, the address you have you can just put it right there and then it'll list all the addresses that you have and you can choose which one that you want to you know use from there you can put in there and then that's it it's pretty straightforward and it is going to 
make people more recognizable, more familiar, because before uh, it says influential DAOs using DotPay to uh, identify the members. So you can see if they if they all have the number, they have to open them up and see the identity, copy their uh, contract address to see who, who that person is. But if they have their name like right here, it's gonna make it a lot easier. And um, organizations have this option to add their own personal name so that people who kind of like register wants to register do, uh, within those in kind of like a DAO um, they can have that name as well so let's say um, we go for let's say Sushi wants to uh, have their own personal domain and they want users to make follow-up um, addresses from there uh, what they can do is basically at, you don't know, have the option for the members over there so uh, if I let someone to register uh, you know under those I can just register under the name cryptobablo.sushi.bit which you can see is right here so it kind of like creates clans clubs and groups in this one which is I think is another uh, plus side that we have and uh, moving forward you can see we have a lot of um, benefits uh, in different areas uh, all areas of web3 all the services in the web3 in the blockchain uh, it's going to help us out so i think this is an amazing innovation that we have and it is going to spread all over as soon as people find out about this because it's going to make things a lot easier and this is the things about innovation if it's something that makes your life easier if it's something that makes you make, makes it saves your time then that innovation is accepted and that innovation that is something that eventually goes into a community and it, it proceeds so i think this is something that's going to go forward uh, and there's a lot of other initiatives being taken uh, by dotbit and the community itself uh, which one of those in include name DAO, which we just discussed uh, as for the sushi reference so it says one day all people around the world will equally have access to a decentralized identity and moving forth so there's a huge problem to identify people in the DAO, and this is going to make it a lot easier for those uh, whoever whichever project has DAOs they can basically use this over there so this is something that we already have discussed and there's a lot of other things um, not just this there's there are a lot of other uh, initiatives being taken uh, which I'm gonna give you as links to so you can check check it out for yourself um, this is their blog and uh, you can read in important information right here and uh, uh, they also have a sub did which is another kind of like initiative but i'm going to leave that for you guys to read all these things to know about what they have to offer and what else they're building and uh, this is their entire room which you can see is pretty extensive uh, and it's pretty uh, elaborated so there's a lot of other things that are coming uh, then the quarter two and quarter four of this year which this is currently we're at so we have uh, bit alias um, subdids name DAO, newly designed uh, dot bit data management tool uh, establish a system of registrars with uh, global coverage release more accounts for registration release privileges of accounts and moving forth so yeah i think this is uh this is the most i have for you guys uh in this project it was slightly different uh, but I wouldn't say it is difficult and it definitely is simple it's going to make your life a lot easier if you have a lot of addresses and if you have been facing with these issues of identification uh, and having your addresses all over the place having your information all over the place now it's going to be you know get contained in one place and uh, yeah I think this is going to be really amazing and as for right now you can register in a in a really low cost so make sure they do that and uh, yeah i think this is all of you guys in this video and i'll see you guys in the next one shortly so stay tuned